that I should have known. You can lose you all to sleep at night. Rock and roll, the latest hit from Status Quo, who apart from 17 consecutive chart singles, can also broke, uh, boast an unbroken run of 12 consecutive top five albums. This year, Quo celebrates its 20 years since their first gig. It all began in 1962 when Alan Lancaster and Francis, or Mike as he preferred to be known in those days, Rossi, decided to form a group. With the help of a couple of other musicians, they started to do a few gigs, even though they were still at school. They used to rehearse in the Air Cadets headquarters in Dulwich, the same place used by an aspiring drummer, one John Coglan, who they quickly snapped up. Under the name The Spectres, they built up a local following, but it wasn't until the 18th of July, 1966, that a record deal was made. Their first single was a version of this song. I, I will have nothing. It wasn't a hit for them, and neither were their next three singles. In March 1967, the Spectres changed their name to Traffic. This was an unfortunate choice because Stevie Winwood had already chosen the name for his group. So by November 1967, they were pressurised into another name change. They chose Status Quo. Their fifth single was a hit. It climbed to number seven in the charts. It was this one. On the 18th of January, 1968, Rick Parfit joined Status Quo. His first single with them did absolutely nothing, but the next one did. How many of you remember Ice in the Sun? hit in 1968 but the following year was a bad one for quo there were no hits and by the end of 1969 they seemed to be on a downward slide at a time when many other groups would have given up somehow quo hung on a change of image brought a change of fortune they threw away their stage clothes and became the denim clad foursome we know and love today they started to build up a strong following and created renewed interest with singles like down the dust pipe and in my chair which were minor hits but 18 months later came the single that proved to be the turning point for Quo. Working without a producer for the first time, they made the now legendary Pile Driver album, which shot straight into the charts at number five. By 1973, they were a well established band in Europe, and by 1974, in Australia and Japan as well. Since then, there's been classic singles like Down Down, Caroline, Rockin' All Over the World, Roll Over, Lay Down, and this one. Again, Quo have never looked back. They sell out wherever they go, they've sold millions of records, and still they keep on rocking. After 20 years together, it came as a bit of a shock last week to learn that one of them was leaving. Does that mean we'll no longer hear classic sounds like this? I'll be talking to Rick Parfit with a special competition in just a moment. Whatever you want, whatever you 